everyone, welcome and welcome you all to my channel. So for today, we are going to make a simple video on how to cut a cape sleeve. So for this video, I'm making use of doll face. So that you just need um a piece, like a very little piece. So I'm going to fold it into four. So you could make use of any print you want. You can make use of African print, bridal satin, whatever you want, okay? So I folded it into four, like the way you cut your flay. So basically, you're just going to attach it to this part. So I'm going to make use of four inches. You can make use of four inches. Um, you can make use of four inches. You can make use of two and a half inches if you just want it to be very small. So four inch plus my sewing allowance, I have a total of four and a half inches. So I'm going to place it this way. I'm going to mark four and a half inches four and a half inches just like the way you cut your flay okay so after this what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut it out i'm going to cut it out so this sleeve is actually very easy so after cutting it out this is what you have okay you're going to have this so we're going to keep this aside so you're going to have this so now when you have this what you're going to do is to determine how many layers you want your ruffle to be so let's say you want it to be like this you're not going to draw it with chalk however you don't need to mind your drawing might not be accurate but no problem what the essence of you doing this is just for you to know or to have an idea of where you are going to sew and how many um how many lines you want it to be so i can just continue like this okay so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so i'm just going to do this all the way down to meet up with this so with this um sketching just a very little sketch so i know i have about one don't forget this is the sewing allowance so you might not um you might not mark it to get to this exact point so i have one two three and four um raffle that's going to be ruffled to be on it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to set this aside so we are going to set this aside so for the raffle i'm making use of tafita it actually depends on what you want to achieve so for the wideness basically um there is no exact wideness there is no exact inches you are to use for the wideness it just depends on what you want so for me i'm making use of four inches so four inches because i just want it to be tiny i just want it to be tiny so i'm going to have this so by the time it's folded into two i'm going to have about two inches so all you need is just a long piece four inch as long as you want okay it depends and don't forget that from this sketching here we have about one two three four five so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to join this together this way i'm going to sew it together this way okay and show you guys what next you have to do so this is what we have we just have a long piece so this piece can be as long as you want so this is the long piece so don't forget that on our little sketch here this is our ending point so all we have to do is to place it this way so you sew so while you are sewing i hope you guys can see it okay perfect so while you are sewing, you are making a pleat on it this way. You are making a pleat on it. So while you are sewing it, you are pleating it. Okay, you are pleating it to give you this effect of the pleat. So I'm just going to do that and show you guys what it looks like. So for the pleat, it depends. It depends on what you want. You can pleat it gradually or you can pleat it little by little or pleat it by one inch it actually depends on the outcome you want so this is what it looks like while i'm pleating so i'm going to go ahead the essence of this line is just to give you a guide of where you have to pleat on so i'm going to go ahead and pleat it all and show you guys what next so you can see you're having the shape already so for this uh, middle piece for this middle piece so make sure you pleat as much as you can just to cover up 
split as much as you can at the middle piece just to cover up the center, okay? So after pleating it, this is the final result. This is what we actually have. You can see it. So let me now show you guys how to fix it on the sleeve. So this is what we have. Okay, so you can use this as a rose, as a bow this way. But well, I think it's even nice this way. Like you make an outfit and then you put it at one side. Anyways, you can also connect it this way. So don't forget that your sleeve comes here. So you sew it this way and you sew it this way. And you can see this is actually beautiful. Yeah. And you can use it as a rose. You can attach it to this point. You just stitch it. But you can also use it as a sleeve. So you just sew this point to your um, shoulder. And then you sew this other point to your shoulder. And then we have this beautiful cape sleeve. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.